Ah, right, people, welcome back to our next video. All right, guys, so I got the Legion Go S here, SteamOS version. So there's a new way to install lossless scaling, right? Easier and it's way simpler. So this is for my old and new people, right? So if you want to install this on your device, easier way, you got to go through all the struggles just to install it. This is the video for you guys. All right, so with lossless scaling for all the newcomers that's coming to this device because I know this device is on sale now and a lot of people just now getting it and just now getting into SteamOS. So this is one of the best applications to have in your device because it helps you to double your FPS, guys. Give you a smoother experience. First things first, since we're here already, you just got to make sure you purchase the application with loss of scaling. Go into SteamOS, type it in, you purchase it. I think, I think it's $5.99, $6.99. Yeah, I think it's $7 US. Once you do that and you download to your system, you can't actually use it like this. I'm gonna show you how to get it up and running, guys. All right, so the first thing, you wanna go to desktop mode, hit power, and you go switch to desktop mode. All right, so once you're here, you wanna click on the settings button right here. You click on this. Then you wanna scroll all the way down to users, which is right here. On here, this is where you create your pseudo password. This is basically like an admin login. And when you download anything on your device, you need to put into your password. So once you come here, you change password, click on the button, and then click on password, press X to bring up the keyboard, you want to tap your password in, already make one already, and you want to make it confirm it and have the same password in both boxes. Once you do that, make it simple, simple that you're going to remember, and you're just going to hit save, and then you're up and running. Once you're done with this, you want to go to the browser, and you want to download Decky Loader, guys. Let's X to bring up the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Type Decky Loader in. Mm -hmm. Then it should be the first one, Homebrew. Then you want to hit download. Once you download it, mine is downloaded, it's just not actually showing that it's downloaded. I don't know why my system does that now. Once you download it, then you should go to folders. Then you go to downloads right here so one year once you're here it should be right here so once you click on this you execute you continue that's the password that you need once you enter your password you're going to click continue and let's download this software or download it already i'm not doing it again but this step right here is just a simple step so that password just made just gotta tap it in once you download everything you need then you want to return to gaming mode. Return to gaming mode. When you're in gaming mode, you open up your fly up menu. You should see a new icon right here. Looks like a plug. You press on this. And then this way you have all your, your Ducky installer applications. And then this way you see everything that you see in your system that you downloaded. You just got to go to the store right here. And you press that. Go to search. If you type LSF, it should pop up. And it's right here guys simple as that that's all you need to do this is a lot easier and thank you to the developers for doing this guys i'm not gonna lie this is like one of the best applications right now for this system to give you a better experience guys so thanks for them to port it over from windows to steam os so once you press install the install just let it download and then you should be good there then it opens up the side menu and then you should see it in here somewhere which is right here guys all right, so when you first open it, it's going to say loss of scaling installed, which is the application that you installed earlier when I told you to install it. If you don't purchase it, this will be X orange just like this. So you want to make sure you purchase it and you have that green button. Now, we just got to turn this orange right here to green. And all you do that is you just got to press install right here. Press install and then you're up and running, guys. See, now both of them are green. If you haven't installed Lost of Scaling, the first option is going to be orange still. And you need Lost of Scaling application. You still got to purchase it, guys. All right, it's not free. And that's basically it. So now you got your base frame cap right here. Let's, not, let's turn this down from now just in case. On top inside the game. All right, first things first. Let's go right here. So you got your FPS multiplier. You got off, 2x, 3x. 4x most games run best and 2x once you go to 3x start getting crazy start seeing some ghosting and some 
artifacts and stuff like that so depending on what you're doing and what game you're playing right? you could also do profile defaults you could, you could create a profile for different games Put that out you got flow scale this is up to you how you want to have it you could go up and down usually you have it around like 70 percent the lower it is the better your performance will be but the higher it is the better your visual fidelity will be so you got to keep it in between and test it out for different games so every game perform a little bit different and you could probably go up and down but usually I leave my flow scale at around 70. you got base fps cap you can cap it off if you want depending on what game most games you want to cap it at like 30 and then it only doubles it to like 60 if you're doing 2x all depending on how much base FPS you're getting. But for this video, I will not cap. You got first and first out V-Sync. Let's turn it off for now. Then you also got performance mode. Leave the on. Sometimes that helps you with performance. And let's see what's in here. All these right here could disable them if they're on, guys. All right. So for each game, you got to install a command. And this way you could copy it. So copy launch options, right? So copy this right here so you want to go inside of hell divers you click on the start menu go to properties in general then you want to scroll all the way down you want to click on here then you want to paste the command in here all right so once you paste the command that would tell it once you boot the game up lost the scale and go override it and then start boosting the fps so now let's hop inside the game and then let's show you how it actually works inside the game all right, so I use Simple Decky TDP to control my TDP on manual instead of using the preset that I have inside the, the Steam West, which is right here. If you go in the quick settings, if you go right here, the performance, you get to choose performance, balance, or low power, but I'm in custom. Then I'm using a Decky loader with Simple Decky TDP so I can use custom TDP, right? So I'm running at 25 watts. Right now I'm getting 40 FPS. 49 50 fps without loss of scaling active let's go back now if i go to lossless scaling it's right here scroll down if i turn this on it jumps up to 90 and it's shown right here in the top left guys so let's hop inside the game real quick and see how it's going to perform next thing too let me show you my settings real quick in here go to options Graphics, these are my settings. Most everything in low, you don't have to play in low, guys. You could bump up certain stuff and play how you like, depending on how much FPS you want to get. Hear me? All right, this is my hair. Let's hop inside the game and then see what happens. All right, so while we're heading down, usually the game kind of freaks out. Yep, freaks out a little bit. And we're at 141.38. That's going to balance out, though. That's definitely going to drop. So the best way to use lossless scale is to cap it at the base FPS for the game that you're getting. And I was getting around like 49, 50. So for this game, it capped around like 50 right there. And you should get a stable FPS. Right now, I'm at 132, 139, 130. And it's above average. I think they worked on it because it's working great now. Usually, I, was, I usually get around like, I would say around like 100 or 80 around there but it's working perfect great so i guess they did work on it and this right here doesn't work perfect with every game so it's a game by game basis guys let's keep that in mind as well but with 80 percent of the games out there it works great set out very very quick let's see if i remember how to play this yep so let's pull out fps is around like 112 And it's working fine. Awesome, actually. Doing way better than before. So they did optimize it a little bit. Yep. And let me go back in here real quick. Go back into loss of scaling. And let me turn it off so you guys can see. What's my base FPS? Oh, I'm actually at 70, 68. So the FPS for the game is actually doing a lot better. So FPS around like 76, 71 inside the game. So it wasn't actually lost at scaling actually. Mm. 
go back in here just turn loss of scaling back on if you go to 3x probably gonna start seeing fees a little bit slower but it's still playable all right really i'm spinning around for a little bit yeah so 3x for this game is great actually i'm getting like 193 196 194 so that's awesome guys so let's try it with whatever game you want to try it with see if it actually works and how it's performed and then you can determine from there but loss to scaling is the way to go especially on steam os if you're not trying to use frame generation that's built into the game which is fsr3 but yeah so that's basically it this is video is mostly for my newcomers for this channel because i have a ton of videos in here with loss to scaling and also for my old subscribers because this is a new way to install it if you didn't want to install it before because it was a hassle now it's a lot easier to install it guys and you probably could delete the file that you have and just reinstall it i have it like that just in case but yeah so that's basically it thanks for tuning in guys and if you like what i'm posting hit that like button subscribe for more awesome content guys and remember what i always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys thanks for tuning in